Welcome to Cambonize. I think it's about time that we added another dimension. The dimension of time. By now you should have a pretty good grasp on how to build your initiatives by setting up a hierarchy of boards and seeding child cards throughout the teams. Once at a team level, the managers distribute the various tasks among the members of their respective teams. Swim lanes allow the teams a degree of focus so work can be pulled through to completion without hindrance or distraction. In all of these steps, time is implicit, although conspicuously absent in a visual sense. So, we know that a well-designed portfolio of boards can work miracles, relatively speaking. But adding the ability to track projects against a calendar, whilst retaining these benefits, seems to be the next logical step. To activate this function, go to the board designer and hit Create new timeline workflow. Just like a standard initiative lane, a timeline can consist of any number of swim lanes, each grouping certain types of work together. Multiple timelines can be run concurrently in the same swim lanes, although it is wise to apply an in-progress limit to keep things realistic. Click lane settings and set a number you feel comfortable with for each swim lane. We've also got a backlog area, but the real action takes place on the timeline itself. Let's take a look at the board now. The calendar view is available at the very top of the screen. I should really mention that the timeline flow is primarily intended to manage larger scale initiatives, although how you describe large is defined by the amount of time allocated for the top end of the hierarchy. We're at a strategic layer in this management workspace, although timelines are available for every board. In this way, individual timelines can be linked together to graphically represent stages and phases across a number of different boards. The timeline is not a replacement to the initiative lane, rather it works in conjunction with it to add another layer of intelligence to the workflow. Drag the right hand end of the timeline thread to the point where you'd like to see the initiative completed and the left for the approximate start date. Setting up an initiative in the timeline is similar to setting up a card in the initiative lane and the same linking options apply. Many initiatives will be fleshed out in the initiative lane and then dropped into a timeline at any point. This allows you to reserve timelines for time critical projects. As they are time sensitive to a degree, successor and predecessor relationships take on a new level of importance as they'll graphically demonstrate how the late completion of the first card effectively reduces the time available for the second to be processed. You can obviously zoom in and out of the calendar as necessary to get a better sense of scale over the entire course of the initiative. Time is relative but it's also finite and the timeline will help you visualize this in real terms. We have this green line running vertically. This marks our position as of now. If you want to retain the time scale but change your position, just click anywhere on the timeline and drag it in the direction you want to go. Anything to the left of the line is in the past and the future is always to the right. Blockers take on a more poignant significance. Anything getting in the way of completion is potentially putting the timeline's desired endpoint at risk of late delivery. You can, of course, apply stickers to timeline initiatives as well. Another good tip is to create a timeline parent from an existing item in the initiative lane below. This will transfer all the existing card linkages and the parent can be linked further as required. 
once you have placed an initiative onto your timeline, click as you normally would and it will open up just like any other Kanban card. That being said, we do have four extra fields over here. These represent the planned timeline and will eventually record the overall results. Fill in the initiative's details as you normally would and close the card. The additional fields are automatically filled in and updated in respect to the timeline's endpoints. The timeline allows you to structure quite complex schedules so that you constantly have a sense of time over results. You can also size the child initiatives so that the percentage of completion is displayed in the top banner as normal. Obviously, should a team free up some capacity and they start earlier than the estimated commencement date, this is fine. The start date self-adjusts as soon as the first card goes into progress. If by any chance a scheduled end date is missed, the initiative will highlight this by colouring itself dark pink. Kanban cards can blush. This is a very new feature and it's undergoing intensive development at the moment. As always, check out the knowledge base or contact the success team if you'd like to discuss your challenge in greater depth. We'd love to hear from you if you have any suggestions on how to make this or any other function of our software even better. Get in touch, share your experiences and discuss your use case. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now. We look forward to being in touch soon. Have a great day and happy cabinizing.